YouTube. These are the coolest clips on the internet. Oh, that is dangerous, dog. There could be a lot of things that can go wrong, like this guy lets go, and this guy chops this guy's hand off over there, or maybe this guy goes forward and then just chops off the whole entire world like that. If you're ever in this rare situation where you have a tiger shark approaching you, this is what uh -oh. you should do. I always have that situation where tiger sharks approach me. Shark gets closer. Make sure you maintain eye contact and reach out your hand. Okay. Your elbow. Then press your hand down flat on the top of the shark's head yeah. and follow through while pushing your body over and away from them. Oh! Side of their body, that way you can maintain that extra space in case the shark does decide to turn back and check you out again. Then, after the shark starts to swim away, make sure to do a look around and make sure there are no other sharks approaching you. That makes total sense if you've done it multiple times, but in the moment, for the first time, I wouldn't do that. I would be I'll like, be right, right. ah! That's probably what I would do, so. Rest in peace, guava juice. <laughs> when the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean collide, they're not even next to each other. This is probably Photoshop or something. I'll show you, maps.google.com. Do they connect? Oh, oh, right here, oh. They connect, they're right here. They connect right here! Did you know that a single Lego brick uh -huh. is engineered so well that you would need to stack 375,000 of them on really? top of one another for the bottom brick to fail? And that would be a structure over 12,000 feet tall. Do it! You love Lego as much. Do it! Pictures or videos, it never happened. I could say the same thing. Did you know this coffee cup, it would need 2,478 coffee cups to be stacked on top for it. But if there's no proof, there's no video evidence. Uh oh. What are you gonna... Leave them alone! No! <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool, man. This whole video is so cool. <laughs> Why would you do that, man? That's like taking a kid from the mother. The good news is they got out of the road, so they get, won't get hurt anymore. This trick can save your life. Build your own floating device using your pants. Once you get your pants off, you're going to tie the two ends of your pants together like this. He just wanted to take off his pants. Zip up or button up your pants. Duh. Now this is the hardest part. You're gonna grab by the sides, you're gonna slam it down and get as much air in there as possible. <laughs> now all you gotta do is put your head through it. Wow, it looks like two butt cheeks cradling your neck. And this is how you stay afloat. Hey, that's cool though. I like it. Here's the ultimate way to prevent porch pirates. Unite science, the only way to prevent porch pirates is to hit up Mark Roper because that guy is the master of porch pirates. And magic. Under this table is a mirror angled at 45 degrees, which reflects the opposite sign. The well, I don't know, because you can kind of see the bottom half right there, and I, I would be like, that's, this is, there's something a little bit fishy about this, I reckon. And I would just inspect it. Makes it look like you can see right through it. The label on the top gives the delivery people the instructions. And I guess it makes sense. If they can't see the gift in the first place, there's no reason for them to go to the board. The delivery people the instructions, and it works like magic. I haven't lost a single package yet because a porch pirate won't steal something if it isn't even there. Yeah, okay. Good good reasoning. I see you. Okay, Mark Roper 2.0. Yo, guys, check out this gaming toilet chair. Okay. <laughs> that's kind of cool, though. Oh, I that's... can't even wipe that, bro. Oh boy, where'd I sign up? Can I sign up? For you guys that don't know me, I love just sitting in the toilet and the comfy. I just love a really comfy bathroom. It's really good. What are you gonna do? Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. Also, this tree looks like a fork. Look at that. It just looks like a fork. Oh, that's smart, dude. Oh, that is smart. Just use air in a bag and then freaking just... Oh, that is smart. I love it!
I love that people are smart. Tips for preventing mosquitoes that have lived for 200 years. One, the summer is here and the ants are running everywhere. Why was that the intro of this whole entire life hack thing? Like tips for mosquitoes who have lived for 200 years and I am cutting a cake. Hey, whatever draws attention, mosquitoes right? Lived for 200 years. One, the summer is here and the ants are running everywhere. Use chalk to draw a circle around the food. The ants won't get close. No way. Is that chalk or is it anthrax? <laughs> Two, add some white vinegar when cleaning broccoli. All the bugs hidden Ew! in the broccoli. Oh, what was that, dude? Vinegar when cleaning broccoli. All the bugs. They definitely put those in there. Bugs There's no way. See, kids, this is why you don't eat broccoli, okay? You can see stuff like that. Tell your parents, okay? It came out. Three, put the coriander and apple cider vinegar in the juicer to squeeze the juice. Put it in a small watering can and spray it on your arm. Can prevent mosquito bites. Oh, no way, but you're gonna be sticky. Ew. She really just picked up that beware. frog. Beware. Beware. Wow. Don't mess with me, I have a weapon. Dude. I have a weapon. That's a cockroach. Wait, wait is that cockroach? No, it's not. It's a beetle. Oh, she's feeding her froggy. This is kind of cool, though. That is so cool. I'm gonna buy a frog now just to try that. Oh. Up. Oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna make? What are you going to make? I can't see with this low quality. Potatoes. This is how you peel potatoes, apparently. Are you sure it's peeling? Because it seems like you're mashing the potatoes. I love it! People are so smart! It took 700 years to learn these tips. One, how to do if you can't pick out gum stuck on your pants. Oh, Rose! A potato! It's a potato! Oh. Okay, if you ever find yourself in this predicament, I'm gonna show you how to get out. You're gonna, You're teach, gonna teach me how, me how, to, how to escape, escape prison? prison? Here's that piece of plastic now. This is just to prevent those teeth from hitting those gears. It's not stuck in. I gotta be very... There it is. Totally out. That is how to get out of handcuffs. I did not learn anything. I don't understand. So you just miraculously need a cup and you shove it in there and you pull it out. Huh? What did we learn today? Don't mess with camels. Also, eat your potatoes, not your broccoli. Yeet! Pound it, noggin! See ya!